Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 19, episode 23, uh, with the opening match of the closing stage here in our fourth season with Minnesota FC, and it was almost our last season, and it probably will be. Um, so, last episode, I told you I was going to apply for a job, I did not get it, uh, and at that point, I had kind of said, I'm done here. I really want to leave, go somewhere else. Um, I applied for seven jobs. And on the eighth job, because I didn't get any of them, I got three interviews. The rest laughed at me. Um, on the eighth job, I declared interest. That's all I did. I didn't apply or anything. And my board called me in for a meeting. And they were not happy whatsoever. And, you know, they said, if, if it comes out that you're applying or expressing interest in another job, uh, we're going to be forced to let you go and look for someone more loyal to the club. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and finish the closing stage to finish out this season. And I am probably going to resign at that point and look for another position. Um, just, you know, I kind of missed my window after winning silverware that first year. And we are working on a coaching badge currently, but the fact that we have not gotten a coaching badge into our fourth year now because they wouldn't let us do one has really set me back on my career path. So, you know, we're going to have to overachieve. So anyway, um, no games to go over, but we do have quite a few transfers. We have made some moves. Uh, let's take a look. So our spending is down to 406, and that's only because we signed another guy on loan. So let's take a look at the transfers. A little surprising, maybe. Uh, we sold Raimundo Lunar for 2.2K, uh, and he signed for 18 and three quarters, and that was my concern. We were going to end up paying him over 20000 We just couldn't afford him anymore. Um, so he's moved on. Uh, he's down in the Segunda division. He's got two and nine, playing a 6.56. Six. So even though he was a five-star on our club, I don't think he was all that good. Uh, Jose Rivero, another high earner. Uh, we have moved him on. In fact, he was making, I think, ten or 12000 So he took a little bit of a pay cut. Plus, he was 31 years old. So he, he, he just had his birthday. He was 30 years old. Hey, dude, you coming up? How you doing, George? Uh, so he hadn't played a lot for us. So I went ahead and let him go. Hey, how you doing? He uh <laughs> he jumped in the shower this morning while I was taking a shower. That was he was not happy. Uh, but anyway, he was a pay cut move, and we also moved uh, Ricardo Salazar on loan. So uh, two guys moved out on salary. Uh, we had a couple of other guys that we tried to move, didn't work out. Nobody took them. Uh, we have brought in. Uh, we have bought a player. Franco Perez. We paid $120 for him. Uh, he's a 24-year-old Ch Chilean, uh, four and a half star across the board. He's making 15 k uh, He is a center back, which is a place I felt we needed to improve. Uh, and so he's got okay pace for this level, 12 acceleration, Solid technicals with the heading, marking, and D and technique. He is 6'4", 14 jumping reach. So hopefully he gives us a little bit bigger presence on that back line. Uh, the next guy we brought in on a free was Adrian Mousset. Yeah, Adrian Mousset. Yeah. Uh, he's a 30-year-old center back. I know I sold one guy. This guy's better. But he's probably only in for one year for the rest of this season. I kind of wanted a veteran presence back there. Uh, good, really good physicals. 13 pace, 13 acceleration, 6'2", jumping reach. Heading's not great, so he's going to probably be a backup option. 
but I did want a veteran presence, and I just needed depth at that one position. And then uh, from La Trinidad, we brought in uh, Leonardo, Leonardo Castillo on loan. He is a left winger. Uh, again, pace, decent acceleration, average crossing, dribbling, uh, passing's not bad at, again, at this level, you know, if we were looking at championship or premier in England, this would be horrific. Um, so anyway, uh, so those are the three guys that we brought in. So we sold out 2.2 K, uh, paid $120 to get the one player. So we did drop finances about, uh, about $20,000 all told. The club did infuse a little bit of money to keep us up and I want to just double check all right so yeah we're still we're still in where where would I see if I'm currently in a coaching badge profile so I have a continental C where would it tell me if I'm taking a coaching badge? Conversation history. No, that's not it. Oh, well. Notebook. Nope. Anyway, I think, you know, because I can't, I can't ask for a coaching badge. I think I'm still in a coaching badge. Uh, so hopefully we're working on that. Uh, the t league has been drawn. So if we take a look at that, we're in uh, Group B, Araceros, Deportivo, Liberty, Patari, Titans, and Uricayanos. They're a pretty good side, uh, I seem to recall them. And if we look at the overall table, we are two points off relegation. So none of the people below us are, uh, Uricayanos is right above us, so is Liberty and Patari's in striking distance. So we've got a couple of clubs that we can hopefully be competitive with um, moving forward. Uh, so taking a look at today's match, we are on the road, uh, pretty heavy underdogs uh, against Liberty. Uh, a lot of new faces, well, a couple of new faces. Uh, let's see. Porto, Tricaro, that's going to bring Marin into the lineup. Uh, Sanchez out wide, Arujo, Bermudez, Bautista. Ojeda, the, our starting mid-left is suspended. Uh, nobody took Dorito. We've got a lot of youth guys. Um, is there any way I can filter that? No. Only show players. Nah, I don't want to do that. Anyway, uh, so we've got a couple of foreign guys. Oh, you coming too? I ain't got enough room, guys. Yeah, sorry, creamsicle. You snooze, you lose. A lot of guys on yellows. And who... Delgado is down there. Thought I had another striker on loan. Oh, Castillo. Did I not see him on the transfer list? Yeah, yeah, we got him in on loan. Okay, so he's not a starter, but I, he did look like he was okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and submit the team, get to it. Warming up. All right, uh, pressure's off. I have faith in you. You've got what it takes. And kick off. This will be our first match at Minnesota. Hey, dude, with, without uh, Lunar on the club. Uh, no, no. Are you getting... Oh. Just a warning? Okay, just a warning. 
All right, we're going to encourage. Oh, nice poke away. Bermudez gets it upfield to Trunk. Uh, who's that? Troncoso. Oh, he, he dribbles past the defender, then loses it. <laughs> Oh, nice little layoff pass to Gonzalez. Brings it back inside. There's the ball outside into space. Crossed in. And Miguel Filosa puts it in. His second goal of the season. I looked at a couple of keepers, but there's just not very many good keepers. And every one of them was going to cost me more. And I don't think they were quite as good. So, yeah, it is what it is, I suppose. Yeah, it is what it is, George. Come on, boys. Oh, there's a knockaway. Sanchez is all over it. Troncoso. Bautista up to Arujo. Bautista loses it to Soto. Soto plays it out. He's got a couple of guys wide. Gonzalez knocked away by Trevino. All right, we turn it back up. Bermudez lumps it. Oh, there's a good run by Porto. Put it. Oh, he hits the woodwork. Hits the woodwork. Shit. Uh, extended. Yep. Off woodwork again. Kicked away. All right, we're only at 40% possession. All right, Trevino, Bermudez, to the middle of the field to Bautista, Arujo. Oh, he tried to heel kick it. You guys aren't that fancy, fellas. You're not that good. Don't do that shit. Just kick it straight. I'd be happy with that. Nobody blocks him. Pushed away. Sets up a corner. Get creative. Oh, the keeper Valenzuela came out, missed the ball. Basically an empty netter. Not allowed. Okay. Well, I'm not sure what happened. Offsides or a foul. Oh, a clean shot header into the woodwork. Three woodwork on all three shots. Two half chances. Praise. I mean, they're, they're doing a decent job. They're doing a decent job. All right, Troncoso picks up a yellow. Are you... All right, Brito into the box. Arujo, Bermudez, Bautista with the body shot. Mm, 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 mm. Come on, fellas. We're up to 50% possession. Hey, dude. Into the wall. Oh, they're poking it around the top of the box. Halftime. What? Who are you pissing at? Uh, oh, okay. All right. Pressure's off. Troncoso. Avoid a booking. Anybody not playing well? Sanchez on the left. Um, Rujo. No, I mean I need I need him to play well. <laughs> I need him to play well. All right, start the second half. 
Hopefully not a big kickoff highlight. Oh, well, maybe so. Oh, Arugio got stomped on. What a dirty play. Not even a card for that. He tried to end my guy's life. All right, that's lumped forward. Troncoso makes the run. Oh, cross it. Crossed in. Oh, Ponto. Ponto could not get to it, and the shot was off target. Ay. Get creative. Sanchez into the wall. Ponto comes. Porto comes out to get it. Look like Ponto. Come on. I'm going to go ahead and put Marin in. Now, the thing is, he is slow of foot. So, I'm going to want to go, I want to go look at something real quick before we get back. Bautista, Alexio. Let's do that. Okay, but I want to pause it. I want to look at my tactic. Well, I guess not. Not until the subs are made. That's fine. Fourth yellow card. All right, there's the sub. All right, Marin. All right, as a poacher. All right, let me come back out. The poacher sits on the shoulder, run onto balls, ready to run to the marker. All right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap these two guys. Porto has more pace. Marin, Marin just cannot run, so I need him far, farther forward. I'm okay with that. All right, let's uh, push forward. Anything, anything at all. All right, Brito into the box. Arujo. Oh, my God, he hit Sanchez. He must have been offsides. <laughs> I'm guessing he was offsides. Yeah, they, they, they were down there by themselves. <laughs> and he got drilled. And he wasn't even between the posts. Oh, lucky that was off target. That's a lot of empty seats. All right, Valenzuela. Musette. Trevino. Back to Musette. Back to Valenzuela. Oh, Valenzuela gives it up. There's the shot. All right, they were pussyfooting around back there. 27 fouls this game. Holy shit. All right. Um... I'm going to go ahead and bring, yeah, we'll, we'll swap them out. I was going to put him on the left side, but get creative. Ten to eight on shots, 50-50 on possession. Ugh. No finishing ability. Not at all. Ugh. He picks up a yellow like literally at the whistle. Jeez, that was stupid. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Uh, dressing room. How did um, Marin play to 6-6? Six, six? Eh, I don't know how, but he did. Vasquez didn't play enough to register. I mean, there's actually some pretty good ratings in there. 
uh, Sanchez did not play well. So I may, I'm probably going to have to look at that. Yeah. Uh. All right, well, we're going to call that an episode, I suppose. This will be a short one, but, uh, had, you know, I had the transfer news. Um, so where do we come back? Do I come back kind of right away? We actually have more games this time around because we're in the bigger division, Group B instead of Group C. So that's two extra games. Um, let's come back for Yara Quanos and Titans. They'll give me two games. I may try to experiment with my tactics since they're pissed off about that. What I'm doing certainly is not working. So uh, we'll we'll see. I'll, I'll take a look at some of my guys and see what we've got. So hit the like button for me. Subscribe if you don't mind. And we'll see you next episode. Take care. Have a good one.